Wait, that's more rap than metal. Uh, oh yeah, Grr! that's better, right? Hey, I came back from the heavy metal swap meet with a crap load of albums and a song in my heart. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I had a good time, guys. Uh, wow. Uh, two nights stay in San Diego. Beautiful, sunny San Diego. I can't see. Oh, there you are. And, um, yeah, I took my wife down there and, and uh, set her up for a... Uh, appointment with Massage Envy, as I do every year, um, that I go. Last two years I didn't make it. I made the 2015 and 16 heavy metal swap meet. Uh, 15 was amazing. 16, I was a little apprehensive. Uh, I wasn't, I didn't find that much. It was really cramped. Uh, I was a little disappointed because I had a cane at the time. Uh, back surgeries, all that stuff, you guys know. Um, so it was really difficult for me to get around, and I was scared someone was going to bump into me, and I was like, oh, God, that's going to hurt. So, anyways, that was a negative part about that, and I thought, you know what, they'll fix that in the future. I'm sure they will. They're growing like crazy. It's just becoming so huge. Uh, metal swap meet started in a guy's front yard <laughs> 10 years ago. This was the 10th anniversary uh, heavy metal swap meet, and... Wow, was it good. It's outside, outdoors, which is awesome because San Diego's always beautiful weather. I mean, very rarely you get a little rain or something, but uh, thank God there was no rain this time. Um, oh, pardon me. So, I had a great time. Um, dropped, let's see, my wife dropped me off at the heavy metal swap meet a little early. Uh, I wanted to get in line, but there really wasn't a line this time. I mean, it was really small because I was uh, I was in the VIP, so I got there an hour early, which was nice. There wasn't that many people. Okay, yeah, it's all good. So, I get there. There's, you know, a front little table to check in. They give you a poster. They give you a cool bag. They give you a pick, which is cool because I just started guitar <laughs> for the first time after a long, long time. And I don't know how well that's going to go, but we'll see. I got a warm welcome from everyone, uh, which was cool. Even the the main dude walked up and said my name, which was kind of cool. I was like, how does he know me? Was, okay, anyways, but that was very cool. Um, I first stopped off with Derek Riggs and um, chatted with him for a little while. He, um, I wanted him to sign my jacket, battle jacket. So I'll show you that real quick. Um. And he hooked me up with that. He did a really good job. I need to move this Judas Priest um, deal, though, so that it's... Yeah. He even made a comment about that. He says, yeah, right next to Judas Priest here. Yeah. I'm terrible at English accents. Sorry, guys. I, I don't want to offend. Um, so, yeah. How you like that? Is that bitching or what? He did a beautiful job there. Put his signature and his cool little symbol signature deal there. As well with the original Eddie. I love that. Uh, after Derek, I hooked up with, uh, Witherfall, uh, band Witherfall. It's just a couple members of the band were hanging there. Uh, Alex, I don't know his last name, Alex, and then, um, Joseph Michael were hanging out there. And, um, uh, really cool cats. I mean, just humble, nice guys. Um, they signed my album that I got. And I also had, um, them sign, uh, another album, Nocturnes and something for... Rob Safronsky. Now, I should have said it was for Rob because they knew Rob. I was like, oh, man. I, I don't know. I kind of messed that up, but that's okay. He's still got an album. Uh, it's not, you know, uh, personalized for him or anything, but it's still signed. So, live and learn. After that, I cruised on down to Bill and Carrie Bafford. Rock's Booth. Oh man, such a good time with them and, and chatting a little bit. I had a little trouble hearing them though this year, especially Carrie, because my hearing is really bad now. All those years of metal, maybe. I had a little trouble hearing her. Number one, because I don't hear higher voices anymore, like female voices. And number two, um, Caton DePena was two booths over jamming metal. I mean, at 11. It was so loud. Uh, I liked it, but it's hard to talk. It's like trying to talk at a concert. 
Can't do that, especially at my age. Um, yeah. Woo! Um, but we got to talk for a while. Um, talked about some albums and talked about um, the fact that we missed out on Scott. I was wanting to see Scott this year, Scott Waters, but he couldn't make it. He had other plans, um, which really sucked. But, hey, he's got a life, you know. Um, but, yeah, hopefully see him next time. I hope to make it next year, 11th um, annual. We'll see. I spent a lot of money this year. More money than I should have. Uh, yikes. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff this year. I was really stoked. Um, stuff I couldn't pass up. Uh, let's see. It was nice hanging with Bill and Carrie. Uh, hung there for quite a while. And then uh, from there, well, I went over to... Peyton DePena, and we talked for like over a half hour. Peyton is all right, man. He is such a nice guy. We just chilled. He talked about the, the fans. He was like, you know, constantly shaking my hands. He shook my hands like a million times. Uh, shook my hand, singular. He didn't shake the old. Uh, <laughs> several times, which is funny because it's like, I'm, I'm so, uh, I'm a nerd. I don't know how to shake hands. People come up to me and they're like, hey, dude, I don't know whether to slap their hand, shake their hand, grab their hand like this, this bump. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So he shook my hand several times. It was funny, but he's, a, he's such a neat guy. I mean, me and him and his wife, uh, we chatted a little bit. Uh, his wife's really sweet, too. She took our picture, came out really nice. He talked about, like I said, the fans. He says, you know, I wouldn't be there without the fans. And um, talked about the touring and such. So that was fun. After that, I head on over to uh, Rob Caldwell. Checked out a whole bunch of his records before both of us kind of like were eyeing each other. Right? And he goes, where do I know you from? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, but I know you too. Dude, totally recognizable. He says his name and I'm like, oh my god, I totally recognize the name. But we could not figure out where we knew each other from. Uh, my only assumption is the online community, whatever, is so big that we all, you know, kind of know each other in, in sort of a uh, way. I know people's names who I've never met and such and, or I even talked with. But um, it, he ultimately told me that he's worked with, you know, Rocks, uh, Bill. He's, uh, he knows Doug Van Pelt, Bill Minchin, Matthew over at Boone's. So I was like, oh, okay, I know, you You know, I know you by proxy. <laughs> so we talked for a little bit and got a picture as well. Nice picture going there and just a good time. I mean, I can't tell you how much fun I had. It was so amazing. The weather was beautiful. The albums were flowing. The people were great. Um... There were some strange people, some dude walking around playing guitar and stuff. I was like, okay, he's different. That's okay. We need some of that. <laughs> um, then we closed out the day with Night Demon. Yeah! Night Demon rocked. Oh my God. <laughs> and stuff that was good stuff night demon i got their album i'll just show you that one i got that album um boom good stuff i highly recommend them uh scott's shown some of their vinyls but um i picked up the cd instead because i by the end of the day i had spent so much money i thought i better keep it to a minimum here and yeah so i i snagged that one Tons of crate digging. Uh, it was a great day that day, and um, I categorized them by want list items. 
I scored one dollar gambles uh, albums that you know cost a, a dollar, big stack of dollar albums plus some uh, vinyl that were two, three, four dollar gambles. Never heard, didn't know, might suck, might be great. I don't know. And then pleasant surprises. That's my third stack. Pleasant surprises. Ones I didn't expect, but I was like, oh yeah. <laughs>